Bow, 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 man. Easy froze, man. Y'all niggas got it chill, son. Like, what is y'all on? <laughs> what is y'all on, bro? Like, I was mowing my lawn this morning, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, I'm doing all right. Swamp. Hey, Swamp, where you at? Tell me how I'm doing. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling, and I see all of this talk online. I'm going on vacation tomorrow. My passport is ready. I'll probably do another vlog tonight with Showtime SP. You know what I'm saying? We got some other stuff going on. But shout out to everybody out there. I didn't want to take no time. Y'all ain't, I ain't taking no time out of my day. I ain't getting no extra clips or nothing. I'll talk about it for a quick little 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Put it in the algorithm. Shout out to y'all. But, bro, what is going on? Like, this ain't even got to be what it is. Because, honestly, y'all don't rock with each other. Y'all never really rocked with each other. And y'all only rocked with each other for benefits. Each one was benefiting from the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody perfect out here. I ain't out here trying to say I'm perfect. I ain't out here trying to say my life is perfect or anything like that. But as a nigga, old head, you know what I'm saying? I'm watching what's going on. And I'm gonna be honest, this shit look crazy from all perspectives. It looks wild. You know why it looks wild? Because if y'all know y'all don't rock with each other, there's certain things y'all shouldn't be expecting from each other. Easy is expecting a recap from Rosenberg Raw if y'all don't rock with each other, <laughs> why is he, re why would, he's not obligated to recap anything. He ain't got to do it. He could do it if he wants to. He can do it if he chooses to, but he didn't have to do it. You know what I'm saying? Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good Lord. You know like, he ain't got to do that. He could do whatever he want on his channel. Like, that's the one thing I be saying a lot of the time about the blogs and about the media shit is that, you know what I'm saying, niggas be getting the shit twisted and thinking sometimes, like, you have to do something. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to do nothing. A nigga ain't got to do nothing on their channel that they don't want to do. If they don't want to do it, they ain't got to do it. That's first and foremost. Y'all know y'all don't rock with each other. And it's getting to the point where now it's like y'all, like, about ready to expose this, expose that. When the outside looking in, we look at it like y'all niggas is in shit together. You know? Got that thing on me. I got that stick. I got that tool. I'm yeah. packing. You know what I'm saying? Like when all the shit was going down, all the rumors and all of that, y'all niggas was one too. Y'all was partners. Y'all was rocking with each other. So I think as us, as as us being people that uh that watch the culture and watch y'all and admire what y'all do as battle rappers and now froze as media, I don't think most of us, after a successful event want to see it going to where it's going right now like y'all niggas is about to start throwing mud at each other for what <laughs> like because one person didn't recap an event easy can't think that everybody has to do something motherfuckers ain't got to do nothing they don't feel like doing it. if a motherfucker don't want to recap your event they ain't got to do it you know what i'm saying like it is what it is you know what i'm saying like they don't have to it's no necessity to do it if they don't want to people recap people's events because it helps their channels you know what I'm saying? Battles is doing good and shit like that. Yeah, you won. You won versus ill will. But everybody don't have to be excited about that. Some people don't have to do that. They don't they could do whatever they want. So I don't even know why Easy even thinks that Rosenberg is obligated to have to recap his event. And you know for a fact you got enemies in battle rap and there are people who don't want to see the success of what you got going on. Like you know this more than anyone else. So why would you think that he's obligated to do anything? For reason may it be, whether it be battle rap success, jealousy, controversy, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You got the people that rock with you, you got the people that don't rock with you. You know what I'm saying? And Froze is responding to shit that you saying on your stream and the shit in your live. You saying you was gonna call him before you was gonna call me. The computer, the computer say. Floyd said, fuck T.I., fuck Nelly, fuck 50. I'm like, what did he say fuck me for? Nelly fucked your first baby mama, Melissa, then took your fucking fiance. Say fuck that nigga. Yeah, SP, that's cool. I mean, cool, but he told you on his shit he wasn't even going to do it. <laughs> so, like, you putting him at in this esteemed position, he wasn't even going to do your shit. And I be doing y'all shit for the love. You know it, too. Y'all know it, too. You know what I'm saying? So when I see people throwing things around, like y'all flossing on each other or stunting on each other, so what like okay you're doing great in life we know you doing phenomenal in life we know it you know what i'm saying you're doing great your league is flourishing great battles great event things like that but why does it need to get to this point where now since he didn't recap it because he didn't feel like it <laughs> he don't got no necessity to he don't have to if he don't feel like it i've dubbed events before Shh. i've dubbed events before check it right look I'm gonna do shit. She loves me, she loves me not. 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 If I didn't want to talk about it for whatever reason, I've dubbed it. It is what it is. Like, so what? It's my channel. I do what yeah, I Yeah, sure have. For many reasons. If the business wasn't right, if the league owner said something crazy or whatever the case may be, or I wasn't fooling, or me and an artist on the car was into it. For example, me and Big K wasn't cool for years. He wasn't just cool. He didn't fuck with no bloggers and he'll talk crazy about us. 
he had a, a battle on Max out. I didn't recap that shit. I did not say a single word about it. And when we got cool again, you know what I'm saying, uh, years later, you know, through ARP, shout out to him and everything. He got going on. We cool now. Me and Big K got no issues. He ain't, I ain't blocked. Uh, SP ain't. We good. You know what I'm saying? He came up to the show. But when when we did speak after that, he knew that I didn't recap his battles or didn't cover him because we was, like, fake into it because of the internet. You know what I'm saying? So that's the way bloggers can easily get back at a uh, league or a battle rapper. Just don't. I don't have to cover your shit. You know what I'm saying? But you can't come at me. And, and then be mad because I don't cover it because I just don't feel like Whatever. it. Whatever. There's a bunch of reasons why people dub events. Because guess what? The artists and the media don't work for the leagues. Y'all have to understand that. They don't work for y'all. They could do whatever they want on their channels. It's their private entities. And I don't feel like at any moment, Froze should be held to the standard to have to recap your events. Especially if y'all know y'all not rocking like that. And, um, I was serving somebody some crack. I mean, I'm going to get it. I'm a type of dude I can't be broke. You see, I got this whole building up, fix this shit up. What? I don't make no money off rap. I extort people. I extort motherfuckers too. It's one of my hustles. Got shot a lot of times behind it. But it paid my own houses and shit. It paid. It's called Badlands. You know what I'm saying? And then you were saying that, like, oh, I was going to call him, like, you doing him a favor, like, dog. Are y'all paying him? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't like that. People don't have to do nothing they don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? And for Froze with ease, Froze is now, he's telling people, you know, all of the situation, whether he was, you know, standing behind the camera, he didn't want to tweet for a week, and then y'all was the editing balls, y'all editing together, and this, that, and the third. Like, bro, a lot of this shit don't even need to be to the public. That's just my personal opinion. I got no issue with any of y'all. My, You know what I'm saying? Like, I rock with Froze. I rock with ease. Froze gave me my first opportunity as a pay-per-view person. I've been said that before. So when I be hearing like, you know, Froze is bitter and Froze don't want to see people, I'm like, that's kind of crazy because if it wasn't for Froze, I would have never did any pay-per-view. He got the call from ARP first. He got the call to be on Max Out. He could choose whoever he want. He asked me to be on Max Out. So I'm forever grateful and thankful for Froze for looking out for me because he didn't have to do that shit. We didn't have no relationship. And since then, I've done like six pay-per-views since. He's doing his first one, Max Out. I mean, um, Mass Six, salute to him and everything he's got going on. I think it's going to be a great opportunity for him. But... At the same time, I've done like five or six joints since then. Some got paid, some didn't get paid. It's cool, you know what I'm saying? The culture gets what they want. This culture gets to see shit. We, me and SP is out there. We getting a lot of love and all of that. But we don't use that as a tool to try to ridicule other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't work like that. Because the quick as you get blessed, your blessings could disappear. Things like you looking at me on TV and my house is better than you. Better. My car faster, my trip better, my clothes fit better, my hoes better, my tattoos better. I'm stronger than you, my bitch thicker than yours, my gun's bigger than yours. Nigga, my gun's bigger than yours. I talk better than you, I hustle better, I can get a dollar quicker than you. I talk better, I walk better, my shoes fit me better, I get paid more than you, my crew with me better. You rewind, your niggas don't like you, you make less than me, your shoes too small, you talk better. You don't get money like you, your girl's smaller than mine, your girl's smaller than mine. Is better than yours my car like come on son that don't even i just don't think that that has it like what does that have to do with the significance of anything i think that y'all should be able to go about your own lives and leave each other alone you know what i'm saying if easy feels like froze wasn't selling tickets and all of that he has to know this is just my personal opinion he has to know that he's involved with the trenches you gotta be on the card you can't put rosenberg on the card and if the card don't sell you looking at him like yo you're the reason why when the, what card has rosenberg <laughs> This is just the shit I be saying. And this is one of my last blogs that I make it before I go on vacation tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to talk to SPLB by night. We'll talk some more. But Rosenberg ain't never been known for selling no cards. So we can't put it on him that your card didn't sell, but that you're not on. <laughs> like I said, yeah, I rock with you. I rock with your league. I love what Tex is doing. I love what Muab, Dre Majesty, Zan. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of the people that's mainly talking about these people. I'm talking about the kings of the world. Zeta Dropouts, I was right there. Bo the Great Skull. You got a lot of good talent that's on your league. You, you got a lot of good talent. The controversy, man, we all know what's true. We all know what happened. What did. We all know. Like, I don't give a f I'm here for battle rap, B. I I want to see good battles, good events, and great energy. Why come off of a great event like this and now it's smoke for like everybody got smoke for everybody? Like, golly, if that's the way these events are going to be, we might as well not even have them.
This is my personal opinion, you know what I'm saying? People are going to be looking for this. Sorry, Easy, if I got to talk about it. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not sorry. I talk about whatever I want. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all make the news and then be mad when people talk about it. You can't be mad. Like, motherfuckers are going to talk about it. Man, guess what? Every person that's clicking and watching is, is bringing revenue. <laughs> the, the grass... It costs gas to drive that John Deere. If y'all go and gas the situation and make a bunch of blogs and going at each other's jugulars and exposing this and exposing that, like, bro. <laughs> and then my final thing is with Johnny Mac and Froze, you know what I'm saying? Like, the violence, the I'm going to smack you when I see you. That's the reason why I'm making this blog. Like, this is all out of control, son. Y'all niggas is grown men. All of us have kids. All of us have families. We don't need to be out here like, yo, I'm going to smack you and I'm doing this and that. Like, bro, if these niggas got an issue, they handle their own issue. I fuck with all of y'all. So me, as a, I'm not a middleman because, like I said, I don't work for either entity. You know what I'm saying? I just, I've done events for Trenches. I've done events for Chrome. I've done an event with Rosenberg Raw. I, I know that, I mean, I don't, I, you don't really know anybody in Battle Rap because niggas only see each other once, one weekend every three, four, five months. So you don't really know anybody, but I've been around these people before. And it's like, you know, y'all are all good in y'all own entity. Uh, Easy uses things like, uh, I got further than everybody here. I'm the biggest here in Philadelphia. Bro, we good. We, I understand you a great MC. You're doing wonderful things. But other people pay, help pave the way for Philadelphia. You're not the first battle rapper from Philadelphia. There's a lot of people that went through there that battled and that helped build the road that you were on and doing your thing on. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool. We get it, but you don't have to throw that in people's face and, you know, you're on TV. We get it, bro. You're doing great things, man. But I just think, you know, you say your birthday's coming, you're going on vacation. Man, y'all niggas got to leave this shit alone, bud, because they ain't going to go nowhere good. Then what happens when niggas is at the event and y'all at the event, they at the event, now the fans is looking, wanting something to happen and shit. It's like, bro, come on, man. This type of energy ain't really needed, man. It's summertime. It's nice outside. Kids about to go back to school and all of that. And it's just, <laughs> niggas need to just move on, you know what I'm saying, do their own fucking thing, son. It should be never, it should not be one live one space one stream y'all going back and forth stream wars and shit you know what i'm saying shout out to everybody that's involved but you know niggas is gonna want to see and they're gonna want to hear about it and if i don't talk about it even though like i said i'm on my lawn and i'm packing my shit and i'm out of here you know what i'm saying but you know niggas gonna be like, oh man y'all y'all ain't talk about it y'all ducking it y'all ducking it no we ain't ducking nothing i think both of these niggas need to chill i think both of them are doing extremely well let me tell y'all something real quick for however many thousand people watch this, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000, to be able to make money to talk shit, Wallow just said he makes 80,000 to talk in an hour. Charles Barkley, almost 100 million to be on, you know, Turner, the, the deals is there, all that shit up there. To be able to make money just to talk shit and to have fun, it's a blessing, bro. Like, it's not like, you know, it takes talent. It takes talent, but it takes working hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving y'all some personal perspective before I leave here. This whole shit ain't never been the, the, you know what I'm saying? It's been up, it's been down, it's been left, it's been right, but we doing great right now. And I have to take that shit as a blessing. Like, yo, every day you have to be thankful that people will watch and gravitate to the shit that you got to say, whether it be your words, your merch, your clothing, your your songs. Like, I'm a nigga that been blogging for all these years, and now I'm coming out with some music shit. Niggas is on my breaks. Like, put that shit out. It will be out soon, too. My bad. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be thankful and grateful. All this energy your niggas has got for each other, and everybody want to expose the next person and talk about this and talk about that. Because here's the thing. Y'all didn't have the energy for each other when y'all was rocking with each other. So we don't want to see it now. Like, if y'all don't rock with each other, just don't rock with each other. You got your channel. He got his channel. You do your thing. He do his thing. You have your battles. He have your battles. You don't got to book him on cards. You know what I'm saying? He don't have to recap your events. Like, easy, easy cannot hold niggas to that standard. No. You know? And it's like, oh, you, you, the, the, the joints that you got do the most views because of me. It's like, bro, you a big topic. Some people, you know what I'm saying? They're going to do their views off of that. A lot of people's biggest view videos are off of you. I looked in mine. You're not in my top 10. I'm just going to be honest with you. I've been doing this shit for a long time. Shout out to you. I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I hope you do get there because the more you do, the more we do. So, ain't no issue. I did check. But uh, my number one is like... uh. Mike P versus Daylight. That's almost at like half a million views. Then I got like a Tay Rock versus uh, Officials at 300,000. So I got some big... <laughs> I don't throw the views around, but I got some battle numbers over here. You know what I'm saying? And God bless. But we do what we do. And Daylight versus Rock is up there too. But uh, it ain't... It, I think it's a culture, man. Like every like everybody's got to benefit and help one another. And this ain't no disrespect to Easy. I ain't hating on Easy. Don't be clipping this shit up and sending it to him. Trying to make him go at me. Because I ain't going back and forth with nobody. For what? I'm telling you how I feel. These are both two grown men. 
that are doing phenomenal. Easy just had a great event this weekend. The talk of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday should not be these two niggas going back and forth with each other. It should be the MCs, the shit that happened, the dope moments, and shit like that. Because if we're not doing that, then what the fuck are we doing here? I don't want to waste my time. Don't call me to do no event if next week niggas going to be beefing with, with rappers and y'all beefing with each other. I don't want, got time for that. I got kids. I could be at the zoo, the park, the beach. Fuck I'm doing up here, sweating in the hot ass uh, joint, doing commentary for nothing just because, you know what I'm saying, for niggas to be beefing next week. Man, fuck all that. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> we got other shit to do. <laughs> like, I mean, like, fortunately, we are on TV. We do do that, too. We don't want to be in part of like niggas beefing and all that other shit. Like for what, bro? And shout out to Fro, shout out to Easy. Niggas gonna have their points and their opinions and shit. But it's like, bro, can we get one of these new niggas battles released or some shit like that? Or like we could start prepping for the next shit or get these new niggas some looks and continue to build and grow your talent. Because the truth of the matter is, if y'all niggas make controversy, we got to talk about it because people expect us to. So when you do, when y'all get into these type of spats, you can't expect people to not talk about it. Because when we don't talk about it, then we start looking compromised and wooty wooty woo. And like I said, I got no dog in the fight. You know what I'm saying? Me talking about it only gets us paid. So I'm going to. You know what I'm saying? So, but if y'all don't make this type of shit happen, we ain't got to you know talk. Saying? About it. But Froze did have a point when he was talking about the Muab shit, saying that Muab knew his number and knew how much he wanted. Like it shouldn't be happening. A new nigga should not know a nigga over the ten years in the game business but again that ain't none of my business but shout out to every single one of y'all man easy and froze need to chill man just let that you know what I'm saying? y'all niggas do y'all motherfucking thing man get back to work man i'm out this bitch let me finish my lawn grah, grah, grah.